Close your eyes. Picture yourself at 80 years old. Did you become a better version of yourself? As a female character, to be able to play somebody who's equally powerful to these titans, you just don't come across it that much. She knows what a lot of these men need, and that gives her a kind of edge. Wendy Rhodes is the in-house performance coach at Axe Capital. What'd you take down last year? 7.2 million. 7.2 million. Feel that. She's dealing with people who are a kind of amazing amalgam of animal instinct and competitive spirit. And I would say she is that way as well. This thing I do, I get so fucking turned on doing it. I think she appreciates the hardball world that they're all in, and she can definitely swim with the sharks. She also has this ability to step outside and really see why people are behaving the way they're behaving. You were the one that always told me to stand up for myself. When you could win, yes. You know, she has a lot of power over these people who have a lot of power. Are you prosecuting somebody at Axe? What's going on, Chuck? Wendy lives between the two worlds that are represented in the show, namely Wall Street and the US Attorney's Office. Chuck and Wendy have a very fascinating relationship. I work for the public good. No, you work for the good of Chuck Rhodes. Maybe sometimes they intersect. But Wendy and Axe go back further. Your value to the firm is absolute. What's interesting about the character is that she has a pretty good moral center. And so the conflict of interest, I think, is part of the drama of this season.